to the Manning Report. I am James David Manning, the quintessential American, everybody, broadcasting from a great, uh, the great metropolis of New York City, where we've got rainy, 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 rainy skies. I think what they're trying to do is protect the water from hitting New Orleans, because I don't think New Orleans can handle another flood. But let me pick this call up I have, and then we're going to get back to more of what's happening here. And uh, with the Manning Report. Hello, caller. You've got the Manning Report. Good morning, Dr. Manning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Oh, uh, well, I was doing pretty good uh, up until about an hour ago, and now I'm a little bit disturbed. Um, you're talking about Arkansas. Well, my wife is currently out in Fayetteville, and she just called me a minute, uh, about an hour ago, and turned me on to some information. I don't know how many people out in that part of the country are aware of this, folks, but apparently, and I'll give you a website, uh, apparently they're now admitting HARP has been running uh, pretty, da- pretty darn steady uh, and has been running uh, recorded at a rate of 1.8 hertz to 3.4 hertz, targeting the New Madrid area, and uh, this is all apparently falling in line with the NLE 2011 exercise that's going on for uh, these four regions in this country, Alabama, Arkansas, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Mississippi, Missouri, and Tennessee, and uh, there's an interesting uh, video on this website. They're saying that they believe uh, that this is going to take place. They're admitting they're doing it now. Uh, sometime in the next 36 hours uh, to strike the new Madrid fault line with this hard technology. And they also spoke about how it took a number of months to accomplish the Haiti earthquake and the Japanese earthquake. Now, I find this very interesting that all of this is taking place at the... At the so where, where are you getting this information? Where, what, what source? How can we source this information that okay. you're presenting to us today? Now, on this, you will have a link for the NLE 2011 exercise. There will be a link to the USGS, uh, USGS and their prediction. There will be a link to the HARP website itself, a link to the HARP introduction magno, mag, mag, little, magnometer data charts. There we go. Unfortunately, the induction magnometer data for May 12th, that page is currently being blocked not letting anybody see it. And uh, this is this is very, 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 very disturbing. I've had probably about a dozen right, calls so let's, coming let's, out let's, of Arkansas okay, this let's, morning. Let's try, to get, let's try to get focus on something right here. I only have a moment before I have to break. Let's try to get focus on something here. Uh, we've, uh, we are saying that HARP is involved in the flooding that we're seeing in Mississippi or the tornadoes that we experienced a week ago, or is there an effort now to new, the New Madrid fault line to to disturb that and create an earthquake within the uh, that area, as in Haiti or in Japan. Well, what, what are you talking saying about is here? all of this is connected. It's all uh, connected. Remember all the mass animal deaths a few months ago? And where was yeah, the first report? Right around the Menudo Airport line. And I was telling everybody, my people in Arkansas were telling me that they saw massive FEMA activity in this area back during the bird deaths. 